This is Ron with Art Moose TV, and here in the studio we have the privilege of having Karen Neal with us today. When she's not out selling homes, she's doing art, and I think she needs to spend a lot more time on the art because she has some amazing pieces to show us today. Well, thank you for that. So how's it going? Great. Now that I'm on Art Moose. Hey, <laughs> what's great about it is your art has a tendency, you do everything. You do wildlife, you do still life, you do everything in seascapes and that's what I love about it plus you do oils acrylics watercolors so you're dabbling in everything all the time it's fun and it should be that's what it, arts all about is having fun let's take a look at some of these pieces you brought in today this one here's your seascapes well a lot of them I do paintings that I do uh, come a lot from my imagination and memories and I grew up on the Jersey Shore so the beaches looked like this but I thought well we need a little bit more than water, so I put a little California in it. This is my uh, cousin's granddaughter. She was in Maryland, and I liked the, what she was doing in the water, so I put a little bit of California in the background and just used her figure in the, in the you like to You like to be right on the border impressionistic on a lot yes. of your stuff. Yes, I started out doing uh, master style, old masters, and uh, I really wanted to do Impressionism. So here we are in Laguna, and uh, there we are in Crystal Cove. And that is another part imaginary up in the uh, Cascade Mountains in Washington. And I love the way the, the mountains reflect into the water. That's really, really hard to do, and lots, most artists leave it out. That's really, really well done. Thank you. This is a more impressionistic one. This is a small five by seven, and that's another imaginary scene. But it's, it's really cool because of the way you've mixed the colors, and I love the impressionistic on this. These, this just about borderlines abstract, and I noticed you put four leaf clovers on your signature? Yes. Is that for something special? Well, the smaller paintings, I don't like to take up space with my uh, K-REN, R-E-N, which is my husband's initials is R-E-N, and I just left the A out, so that was my new signature. Ah. How, so the smaller paintings, I use the four-leaf clover. And that's Juno in uh, Florida, uh, the Juno Lighthouse. And another sort of something that I had seen up in the mountains. And I do a lot from just memory and then create. That is a farmhouse with a pond. And that had a lot to do. I took a house from somewhere else. and and then just add it around it. One thing I noticed, you're not afraid of color. Yeah, no, that's true, I like color. And that's, My house shows that too. <laughs> and when you're doing the borderline abstract impressionistic art, you really gotta dial that up, and, and you've done that. This I basically had created because I was gonna make a uh, Christmas card out of, but didn't get to it this year, but I will next. A uh, girlfriend sent me this picture, the photo. She gave me permission to paint it, it's up in British Columbia, and it's just a back road, and that's what I called it, back road. Very, Very thick trees up in that yeah. area. Yeah. I did this at uh, the packing house in Anaheim as uh, a demonstration, and it was Thanksgiving time, so this was pilgrims to me, the newer, newer pilgrim coming into Orange County and walking down the lane to their new home. Another desert scene that I had done for, actually, for a friend of mine. Golf course that was imaginary. And then this is where you went south, Paul. This is when I tr had the shoulder surgery, so I gave it a try and painted with my left hand. It's really, really nice. I was happy with it. Just a Christmas picture to give to a friend of mine. And we have to have some wine. Oh, yes, some wine. And I thought it would be nice that it's sitting in the window. And then you can go outside and have your wine on the patio. And my son-in-law, my dear son-in-law, has been to every single In-N-Out Burger in the States. And uh, I painted one for him for Christmas. <laughs> I bet you that thing's hanging with pride. Oh, he has. He, he was really excited. But he put it on Facebook. <laughs> My daughter loves sushi, so this was her Christmas present, one of them. And we love Dungeness crab from up north, 
And so I painted one as a still life. Another just a flower scene that's on its way to a friend who is very ill right now, so that should be better than real flowers. That is uh, flowers that I did. I called it Mother's Day. And uh, it was actually sold and hung at the uh, uh, Orange County Fair. From my backyard, I took this flower inside. This is an advice to any other artist out there that wants to bring a flower in. Look at it before you bring it in. There were 900 million ants in that red center. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought in the neighborhood. Yes, I did. And it was very frustrating. <laughs> this piece here, I'm totally in love with. Those are bird eaters, uh, bee eaters, excuse me. They're not carnivorous. They eat bees. And uh, that's an acrylic. And I had fun doing that. I love birds, as you can see. That's my from my backyard. Actually, not exactly from my backyard, but uh, that's a goldfinch. And I have a feeder out there with goldfinches that the, the perches are above where they uh, feed from, the little feed hole. And they're the only finch that can feed upside down. So you, when they hang up, and that's my little Harley. It's a watercolor. I've been dabbling in watercolor, and I love it. There he is again, dreaming. And that's Miss Kitty. I did that for uh, a, a mother of one of my uh, friends. And actually, that was a commission uh, painting. And I've just started in watercolor, and, and I'm really loving it. It's a lot of fun. I can see it, especially in the eyes on this piece. Yeah, he has pretty eyes. And Mr. Seal was in the Victoria, uh, in British Columbia, in a Victorian, Victorian, Victor, Victoria City Harbor, and he was begging. The turtle was done in a workshop situation, and I did that for my granddaughter. I bet. That's really, really neat. My painting of the road to the Puget Sound uh, was one of my very first impressionist it was my first impression as you paint. And uh, I got a blue ribbon and Juror's Choice, which I was very excited about. You should be very, very proud of that. It's hard to get anything out of that show. And then I understand you dabble with the famous artist too. Oh yes, Andy Warhol. We went to Ingrid Bergman's show in LA. Uh, my husband worked for a Swedish company, so we went along and uh, I got a signature on my thigh. Not everybody can say that. No, <clears throat> but I got it on paper, too. <laughs> it's been great having you in here. I've really enjoyed all your different art and your different techniques, and I can't wait to see some more of it. Thank you. You're very easy to talk to. <laughs>